The Executioner and Her Way of Life Voyager Review. With the anime for The Executioner and Her Way of Life beginning the spring season, but better is time to return to the light novel series with Volume 3, as the present day continues to change compared to the past Akari's life drum. But they should be able to protect Menoi. Let's find out. Volume 3 of the series opens with Akari being kidnapped and Menoi running to her rescue. The two are currently traveling through the wild frontier, a lawless desert full of baddies, out to make money wherever they can. Menoi assumes the kidnappers are just a, your typical desert bandits. But once she reaches their military style base, she realizes these people could be much more dangerous than she imagined. Luckily, Akari is only being guarded by the handful of people, so Mano quickly rescues here. her. But then she also frees Sahara, a monk who was friends with Mano in childhood. Things have changed significantly for Sahara since they were children, including the fact she knows an artificial arm due to being injured during her time in the wild frontier. Although Sahara is friendly with Menoi, it's not only before the protagonist begins to suspect there is more to her story that she is willing to share. Menoi wants to continue her journey to Akari to find the legendary blade that turns all touches into salt, which Menoi is hoping that she can use to kill Akari once and for all, but before that she can leave. Menoi decides to take down the criminals that capture Akari, especially since it looks like they constructed their base to use a powerful summoning spell that will be nothing but bad news for the world. But Menoi and Sahara split off to deal with the evildoers. Akari is left to her own devices and begins to worry about how much the future is changing compared to how it's supposed to go. In previous time loops, Akari and Menoi never had any trouble in the wild frontier, so they never got kidnapped and they never met a girl called Sahara, with things spiraling so far out of control. Akari worries she can no longer protect Menoi alone, alone and turns to an unlikely source for help. As I commented when reviewing Volume 2, one of the things I'm enjoying most about the executioner and her way of life is how the dice it types between Menoi, Akari and both the past days and past events. It's not only interesting to see how things are changing for Akari in this loop, but also the decisions that she makes to try to account for them. If you ever want to complain this time around, it rests with Sahara, who is yet another Menoi obsessed member of the cast. Perhaps that's not to be expected. Having trained alongside Menoi and Momo, who is completely smitten with our protagonist as a child, but I think his pattern is starting to become too much. Other Matosato does go to, go to great lengths to justify Sahara's feelings toward Menoi, how they driven her decisions and live up to this point. But I think we have done without this. This one saving grace is that there's so much going on. The Sahara's presence never overwhelming. How drunk I dislike her obsession with Menoi. It's easy enough to simply concentrate on everything else happening in the book. But seriously, is there a single sane girl who grew up in the monastery and is in Menoi? I really hope so. The Executioner in her way of life, Volume 3, comes to the West thanks to Yen Press and continues to be translated by Jenny Makian. The translation reads well with no issues to note, Volume 4 is scheduled for an English release in April just in time for the anime starting. Overall, The Executioner and Her Way of Life Volume 3 proves to be another engrossing read, even if I have some qualms about the new character introduced. Now things are inspiring even further out of Akari's hands. It's clear this plot is only going to quickly escalate in more fascinating ways and I'm certainly bored to see what happens. 8 over 10.